In the quiet of a laboratory at a Kensington research center, poison is being prepared for use in an international war. These jars are prisons where the enemy can breed under close scientific control. In the name of that enemy, locusts. Today, a great plague of locusts reaches from India across Africa and research into their habits is of paramount importance. By systematically varying the food on which they are fed, research workers can list, in order of preference, the substances they like best. These foods later become the basis for poison baits. They look harmless enough. A dozen of them weigh no more than an ounce, but it is against armies of locusts that this research is directed. One single swarm can eat every particle of green stuff from four square miles of crops each day and in its lifespan can decimate an area 200 times the size of the city of London. Incidentally, there are 12 separate varieties. If kept in isolation, the locust changes color and habits and ceases to be the voracious enemy of crops that it is when it swarms. To enable it to develop its normal habits and to give it the exercise it needs to keep healthy, it is harnessed to a cleverly contrived flying machine, a sort of link trainer powered by locusts. It's worth bearing in mind that a fully grown locust's wings are so powerful that it can fly 1,500 miles non-stop. Now, filmed for the first time, we bring you the Locust Fun Fair. Thank you.